Today, we will be talking about how to launch a product idea on Reddit and test your idea to see if anybody wants it. Uh, we're going to share learnings from how Chart Loop, how the idea for Chart Loop uh, started and got initial uh, pull and traction on Reddit. So, on today's series, we're going to break this up into two. Today, we're going to cover uh, how this uh, side project uh, began. Um, how we uh, got burnt a few times at the very beginning, trying to, to put out the idea, get some feedback for it, and almost entirely gave up on it until we hit uh, a total home run on one subreddit, uh, on the subreddit for uh, consulting community. And I'm going to share with you how um, to, to what's, what's the technique to post and to handle Q and A's and conversations with with uh, people on Reddit. Um, in order to uh, foster and, and get some feedback. This will be the first session. And stay tuned for the second session where I'm going I'm to break down exactly how to find the right subreddits, how to build up your karma, and how to really operationalize this whole playbook. So first of all, what is the goal? The goal here is building something people want. Now, this um, the idea for Chart Loop came for us after a dozen other ideas that we built uh, or, or at least thought about. Uh, shipped at least two or three of them. Uh, but what we know is the hardest uh, when it comes to, to, to building up a, a business or any idea, and especially with, with the software, is building something people want. Now, these, these four words uh, from Paul Graham sound super simple. And yeah, of course, I know what people want. But what, uh, a lot of us can spend a year, two years, five years building up a whole monstrous uh, idea and a product that never really get people you know you always have to force it on people how do you how do you have the reverse when people actually come to you you feel like they're trying to pull this thing out of your hands and you can't you just can't can't ship enough of them uh that that is the goal here and that and, and reddit is one of the best uh places in my opinion where you can actually test out an idea before even building anything see see if see if there's pull see if there's a man and then once once you get the right momentum uh start shipping and and getting users so that's that's going to be um, uh, what we're going to learn today. Now, jumping right into things. So, so the here's here's the backstory for how how Chart Loop uh, started. Uh, we came from a background of building uh, uh, sales tools. We had we had a uh, we had a whole different different product product uh, going on that we were trying to sell. It was a an account based content tool for for uh, salespeople uh, and. And we were selling some of them, uh, doing a lot of outbound. But what, what we had was, the problem we had is, while we were very good at outbound, because we knew how to do it for four or five years, um, getting into larger accounts was extremely hard, hard. Why is that? Because we realized, you know, we start with, you know, we we're trying to go a little bit more, more up market, not just like a mom and pop startup with five or 10 people at the table. Um, but you know, you start a, a, a discussion with one sales operation team, and then these people the demand generation, and then the marketing, and then the VP sales. Uh, and we we were we were really challenged with how do we find the right person to to, to begin with uh, in the first case, and then and then also as as the deal progresses, you know, understand who who own, owns uh, the keys to the wallet. So what you could see here um, is, is, a, is, a, is a company called Social Baker. So this is a real, real example. Social Baker at the time, this, they've been acquired since they, they were a mid-sized company, uh, or, or SMB, you can call them with, with five or 600 people. And, and we said, what if we just pause a second, our other idea that we're working on, we said, let's build, let's just, you know, get, get, scrape their contact information from various tools where, where this information exists. It exists on LinkedIn, exists on, 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 on uh, tools like you know Zoom Info or Clearbit, where you can get people's phone numbers and emails, take this uh, and then uh, with with some some um, uh, a little algorithm that we had, build the order right, the structure of who reports to who. You know the head of the GM reports into the VP and the VP into the CRO and the sales managers and the SDRs and the and the account executives and the whole structure of the team. And what you could see here, this printout, this is a code printout of the sales baker um, so, social, uh, their, their sales team. And with this, we said, let's go and let's take this to, uh, to Reddit and see if anybody wants this. Because we knew that for us, this was extremely useful. Because once we, we built this, we were able to, to really focus on, okay, here's the three or four people that matter. 
and let's let's avoid the the you know the other two three conversations that were a total sidetrack. So this is what we did. Now we said we, we at this point we were bur burnt out from, from from shipping ideas. We said let's just take this print. There's nothing built, right? There, this was like a, a manual printout. Let's take this, put this on, put this image on 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 a, a subreddit or two, and get some feedback. Now naturally. This was uh, we were doing a this was a sales exercise for us. So we said let's go to the 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 uh, the, the sales subreddit, uh, and and that's what we did. So we we posted it uh, here, um, and then first of all, what you could see is uh, this post has been removed by the moderators. Uh, the TLDR is is that, is that my um, my partner actually got booted out of the out of the subreddit, uh, and can't can't post this anymore. And this was taken down. But what we started doing is. We, we, we share the idea there, like, hey, we have this script uh, that, that turns a company into an org chart. Here's an idea. What do you, uh, what do you need? So somebody was saying here, okay, your UX, your UI is horrible, um, but, but is it this valuable idea? Uh, then we respond back to this. Uh, somebody will take a look. Somebody, um, somebody was saying, um, yeah, oh, you don't need this. Zoom Info already does this. They have org charts. Uh, somebody will test this out. But anyways, what you could see is that this this is actually a second post, but the first post got got two or three comments. Uh, we we got very few uh, comments at the beginning, but we saw some some posts. Because first of all, fifty upvotes is is already something uh, on on a subreddit. At the time, the um, sales subreddit had about uh, eighty or ninety k uh, members. But but we were getting a lot of heat from this, and we we were like at this point we were like ah, it seems like there's some some interest with with salespeople. Uh, they, they like the concept, but uh, there's a bunch of tools that already do it. But we know that the other tools didn't really do this because we knew like there was Zoom Info, they had an org chart feature, but it was very very partial. It was it, it wasn't really this whole comprehensive top to bottom uh, view. The graphic interface there was horrible. Um, and then we said, let's let's try a few others. So so what we did is we did two or three posts um, in, in the sales subreddit, and then we got kicked out, right? Uh, and then what we what we decided to do, and this is really part kind of going part uh, back to our, our playbook, how we I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how we we hit our home run uh, on on the consulting sub, and from here went on to to building a real business. So. This is this is uh, the million dollar uh, post for us, which seems like a very small and innocent thing, uh, but companies would pay I could tell you uh, uh, millions to to, ha to to have such uh, validations to, to 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 an idea or a product that they're working on. And what you can see here is we posted like this Python script to turn LinkedIn into an organizational chart. Uh, is this useful? Now this this uh, this post has gone gone through a few uh, revisions. But um, we essentially just posted an, an, a, an idea, right? Even be, without without any text, without any sorry, without any image, there was a, there was a link here that that gave you like an image of an org chart, um, and the, the actual this printout that I that I that I showed you before. And we said, hey, we have this idea for for um, uh, you know a script that turns data into an org chart. What do you guys think? And now the reason we went to consulting is that we knew. Consulting people in consulting, you know, they're not salespeople, but they spend a lot of time, of, you know, intersection of uh, even as consultants, right, to kind of put together uh, an org chart uh, of, of, a, of a customer, uh, you know, when, when, when they're when they're when they're doing uh, an engagement and, and building a plan, and maybe maybe they, they're looking to, to change the structure, add people, remove people, uh, so they care about the org chart. They're also very analytical. They care about data. Uh, they might be consulting. Uh, you know other other you know their clients and how to do this. So we said let's let's post this here. And then suddenly we were this this was this was like a total shock for us. But we started getting like some super interested uh, you know responses. So let's look at a few of the comments. Uh, as someone who's built org charts from LinkedIn manually, that's yes, right. So so we knew this because we we from, we did this ourselves. We built these org charts manually uh, at first. Uh, right, people were doing this like okay. So so then you know we're responding, asking some questions. How how are you doing this? Um, can you also PM right? Can you can you message me uh, the, the link to this? Um, uh, I'd love this too. And then like this this thing just like snowballed. Uh, I'd love to give it a spin. 
uh, I can see limited use cases. I want against. Uh, I want to test against a company that I know, right? So, so that's uh, so. Anyways, onward and onward, and people were were giving more and more. And after ten or twenty, you know, such 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 uh, excited comments, where you can see there's almost uh, uh, two hundred comments here. We were like, holy wow, like something's going on here. So we we what we did at the time is we added. Uh, it's not here anymore. But we added a form and said like. Hey, are you interested? Like first, at first PM me, PM me, but then the second thing we said, uh, here, here's a form, a Google form. Put your email, your name and email, and we'll we'll add you once the beta is ready. Because remember, at this at this point, there was nothing ready. Uh, there was nothing built, and and this this post was just starting to to really heat up. And as you see, it reached 500 uh, upvotes in in uh, in consulting, and then also consulting at the time was a lot less people, maybe 100k uh, members in the subreddit. Uh, and, and then at this point we knew like wow this this, this thing is, is actually um, on fire. Uh, people people want this in that Google form that I told you that we created. We got about three hundred people signing up and and you know requesting giving us their name and their this is without without us you know no ad spend no <clears throat> no pushing no sales team no nothing. We 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 were we were able to see like people who really um, wanted this now. And how, how do you handle this, this Q and A? Now, I'm going to give you here a uh, playbook of, of how, how you, how you nurture these, these uh, posts to make sure you, you get some authentic uh, and real responses and then, and then actually build this out. So first of all, you could see here is that we, this is not a promotional post. We're not saying like, Hey, I built a tool. Like you want to sign up or like, um, right. But we're rather very like developery, like first of all Python script, right? But 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 uh, um, this this appeals to kind of the brain of you know the builder, like oh yeah, this is actually uh, interesting to me. And then we're asking like, hey, do you think this is useful? And then we're you know explaining, you know, we built this this algorithm, um, and, and uh, you know this is this is how it works. Um, it, it takes the domain, and then and then here's you know here's an example. Uh, right now, it's the code is local on my on my laptop. Right, I'm, I'm wondering if this is useful, uh, and and then people are start responding. Once now, once people start responding, um, and, and for remember at the at the beginning there was only an image here and there was no link. This link was added uh, all the way later. Uh, once they start, right, the, the idea is with with Reddit, this is not this is not Facebook where you're trying to get likes, uh, even though there is an upvote. But what counts and what weighs most for 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 a post to move up. Uh, within a sub is is the number of comments you want the comments so so a person responded yeah um uh right so so responded i'm interesting i do this I'm, i do this on linkedin manually a lot of things for letting you know i'll ping, pm you the information now ask them a question right get him right get him to respond some more uh and, and you see other right other other upvotes to to these comments uh and then q a like just they, they respond like say hey thanks for that like i'm trying to understand like what's your use case how do you use it like oh you use a, uh, a different tool like how do you do it today is it good what sucks what doesn't uh and then this this starts building up uh and building a fire and then what we realized that so because you're you're the post owner after after i don't know a week or two we realized like okay we got our, we got our, our form filled 300 People super hot to, to try our beta, which we then led into our beta as we we built this, you know, in the in the following weeks, following days and weeks. Uh, but then then at the very end, we, we you know you can always make an edit like oh the beta is out. Here's here's the uh, link to the uh, the website. Right, you can go to the website and now now there's a whole proper, um, you know, si sign up flow and and, and uh, activation within within the uh, website. But this this is our million dollar post and and really the, the post that gave us the validation like the this idea right because because ideas for from my experience in the last 10, 10 years building startups uh are, are are a dime a dozen um you most of them you really need to to push you know shove into people's mouths and have a whole sales team to to do it but here it was like totally the opposite once we once we got this validation we we're like i don't need any vc to tell me anything but like we just got 300 people signed up, and by the way, the people who signed up uh, for for this beta, and this is this is this is true for for the whole of Reddit. There's the, Reddit seems like this this black box of like weirdos and like you know these tinkers, but like we had people there from like you know 
Fortune 500 companies like Procter and Gamble, Facebook, Google, uh, you know, some top consulting companies, McKinsey, BCG. Uh, so, 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 so the quality was was insane, and like you can think, like sometimes in, in outbound sales, you, you well, you definitely you spend uh, eight hundred dollars or thousand dollars to acquire a lead. Here, you you get them all to you. Uh, but but this is a, an extremely powerful playbook of of, of how uh, to to attract uh, um, initial users. So this is the first part of our series. In our second installment, I'm going to show you exactly how to map out uh, the right. Um, how to map out the right the right communities to go after, how to build karma when you have uh, zero, and how to operationalize this whole um, playbook. Appreciate you tuning in. You could check out, by the way, Chart Loop to see exactly our our product. I'm not trying to pitch you on, on the idea. You can if you want to build an org chart. Uh, and if you have any comments or questions, let me know.